it is Sunday, April 2nd. I had two service calls come in. I just finished the first one. I didn't get to get no film on it, but it had a bad blower motor. Uh, it was a mobile home electric furnace. And now we're headed to a no cooling call. Uh, it's a condo and they have an upstairs and a downstairs. The upstairs is not cooling. They said it's a Bryant unit. So hopefully these people won't helicopter me and we can get some film on it. So let's go see what we can find. All right, here's our unit. It's running. It's actually seems to be pulling a little bit of hot air. It's a three ton. It's clean. It's very clean. So the suction line is cool. This is her other system here. This is an evolution. Look at that big old ugly top on that thing. Bryant doesn't make them like that anymore. But this is a this is a 410 system. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 410. Let's just see what that suction pressure is. Okay, for some reason it's Oh, don't tell me my tool went dead. There we go. We're looking for 410A. It looks like my tool key, you know, I, I got to send this, this probe back to field piece. This, this thing eats batteries. There it goes. A hundred and twenty three. On suction, that's with a saturation of 42. I think, see, I think my tool went out again. Now it's turning blue. It blinks one time. There's, there's definitely something wrong with this tool. I'm gonna have to send it back to field piece. I'm, I've had so much trouble with just this one. I'm constantly having to change the batteries in it. And my high pressure one, which is right there, I've never changed the batteries in it. It still has the original batteries that it came with. And I'm constantly changing the batteries in this one. It's like it just eats them. And now it doesn't.
Okay, now I got it working. Well, I thought I did. One twenty three. Yep, it's blinking red. I just saw it blink red. It's dying. See it it's done eight these batteries up. Alright, so if field piece is watching this video, this JL three PR has been a nightmare. But this one, this is my high side one still has the original batteries in it my airflow probes are right here they still have the original batteries in them my pipe clamps have the original batteries in them and my wife bought me that kit for my birthday back in September and we're in April All right, as far as refrigerant, I don't see anything wrong with this system. I'm going to attempt to find the breakers. None of those. I don't think it's any of these. There it is. Okay, found the breaker. Check the capacitor. It's got a capacitor has been replaced already. So the Chinese capacitor is gone. They got a hard start on here as well. This is a 
Somebody's taking the compressor blanket off of this unit, which is good. Forty-five plus five. I'll try to put the meter down here where you guys can see it on camera. Forty-four point five is fine. And exactly five microfarads on the fan. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the gauges off the truck, the manifold set, and I'm going to check superheat and subcooling and make sure, you know, there's no issues there. I would have done it with my probes, but I got that one that keeps eating batteries. I've got to get that thing back to Field Peace. I need to get on Field Peace's website today and do a return pot and do a return and ship it off so i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna put this cover back on i'm gonna start the unit back up and i'm gonna get the gauges out and we're gonna check the super heat and sub cooling and uh make sure all that looks okay i mean the pressures the pressures looked good the suction pressure but make sure that we don't have a TXV malfunctioning or anything okay I'll go ahead and cut it back on too so it can start stabilizing again oops there we go she's back on Okay, I'll get the gauges. Okay, so we're getting the S-Man manifold hooked up here. See, that's what I like. That's what I liked so much about the probes is I was able to monitor stuff like this with those probes instead of going get my manifold out. But that that one probe has been a nightmare since I've had it. I mean, it's constantly eating batteries. So when I get home today, I am most definitely. Oh, now this pipe clamp is blinking red. Okay, there we go. Super heat looks good. Sub cooling looks good. It's uh it calls for a 10 degree sub cool. And we are a little bit below that. But we're gonna give it time to run. I really don't wanna add any more refrigerant because look at that superheat already. That superheat is eight. The suction line temperature is 49 degrees. Subcooling's coming up though. It's coming up. The target is 10. If that would go up to seven, 
it would make me happy it would be within the parameters of three but I still don't think I'm going to touch the charge because that's that's definitely not enough to make it not cool Okay, guys, I'm not going to sit here and make y'all stare at the gauges. All right, guys, I'm pulling away from this call. It's a two-story condo, and that was the upstairs system. Uh, I did, as you saw, guys, I didn't find anything wrong with it. And when I went back upstairs, it had already dropped at three degrees, and it was cooling very well. They said it was, it was at 80-something yesterday when it was trying to cool, but... You never know what can happen. I mean, but it, it, I told them to turn it off when they called me last night. They called me about 8.30 last night. And I told them I'd come out this morning. I told them to go ahead and turn the unit off. And obviously when they did that, it reset. I don't know if the compressor was in thermal overload for some reason, or I didn't see any reason for the compressor to go into thermal overload. The Freon charge was good. The capacitor was good. Um, so... I didn't get that sorry about that I, I really I don't know but she signed up on maintenance she's gonna she, she got two systems that evolution and then the regular Bryant system yeah the, other, the one I worked on is not an evolution it's the performance series I think or the uh, yeah the performance uh, she signed up on maintenance. We're gonna get her on the schedule for probably next week or the week after, and that'll give me a chance to check that unit again. But I really didn't find anything wrong. Hey guys, I wanted to add this to the video, to the end of the video in case, you know, some of you uh, super techs would have said something. I did check the drain. I saw no signs of the drain clogging. It had a, it had a secondary float switch in the closet, which I didn't get to show on camera. Um, but all that was dry. The drain, I blew through it. It, it, it was clear. I just kind of blew through it with my mouth because I, I didn't want to put no high pressure on it, but I just wanted to see if there was something there and there was nothing. It was completely clear. The uh, secondary switch was, was dry as a bone. So it's, it's not a drain issue. It's, it's definitely not a drain issue. So, uh, I just thought I'd add that because I know some super tech would have said, did you check the drain that maybe it was a float switch and it was in a closet up flow, but it did have a secondary float switch and I saw no signs of a clogged drain. So I just thought I would add that to the video. But like I said, we're gonna go do maintenance in the next week or two over there and that'll give me a chance to check that system again. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.